Welcome back to That's Not Lego right here on the Gator Box channel, the only show uh, where we just sardonically talk about bootleg Legos and how crappy or possibly good they are, but mostly about how crappy they are. I'm Draco, and uh, we've just recently revived this series, and I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, uh, you know, we're, we're just, we're, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, and uh, nothing says that uh better than the next set I've picked out which is from a brand called QS08 and they still use the Lego font they're still ripping off the Lego logo for that by the way uh, you'll see it in a second here I dropped it Worldcraft 2.0 how about that Guys, this was before they had official Minecraft Lego sets. I've had this for that long. This was before they had Mojang announced official Lego Minecraft sets, which I'm surprised it took them that long to partner up anyways, because that, that's like a match made in heaven. But uh, this company here, QS08, that doesn't even look like it says Lego. That doesn't even look like it. Why would you do that? I guess it does it pass the glance test even I don't think it does I don't think it does uh, <laughs> they use the Minecraft font here for the creeper face and letter a creeper face over here uh, they're making it look like an official Lego set with this this choice of font and everything over here pieces 41 plus look 40 41 plus does that mean there's 42 in here I guess they put 41 plus because maybe the machine that sorts all this stuff out doesn't do a very good job and extra pieces sometimes fall in. So they're like, there's at least 41 pieces in here. Maybe more. I don't know. Fuck you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, on the side, on the side, if we can focus on this, we got some choice English here. Develop children's intelligence, fostering children's ability. And they used every time in the these these weird English translation sentences, uh, they use an apostrophe that has like fucking seventeen spaces around it. I don't know how they do that. I don't know how they 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 uh, typeset that and think it looks okay. Like even if you don't speak the language, doesn't that look awfully suspicious that there's such a big glaring gap in like the lettering more than there is between these first two words right here? Like, does not raise anyone's flags, no? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here. Uh, looks like we're gonna get... Looks like we're gonna get uh, a, a, a Minecraft Zambi. Maybe. A tree. And I guess this is supposed to be some type of mineral down here. I guess. You tell me. I like down here it says building toy. Build your own tree. Easy there. Don't want to get too excited. Don't want to get too excited here. Uh, build your own tree. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there is a price tag on this one. It says nine dollars. Um, apparently, I paid. Uh, I spent nine dollars of Patreon money on this thing at one point in time, and uh, it's just been sitting in my closet. So now I'm finally going to get my money's worth. And this box is printed on just the worst cardboard I can imagine. Yeah, it smells like it smells heavily of paper stock. It's all inside one bag. Oh wait, it's not inside one bag, it's inside multiple bags. Oh. <laughs> okay, that guy's a trash. So, all the pieces are in one bag, and then you can kind of already see the minifigure assembled right here. Now, one thing I know that they did is, you see how this guy looks like he had an unfortunate run-in with a landmine? All of these are counted as a piece. Each of these is one piece. They really inflated the part count on the box this time. Uh, which co yeah, this is, what, QS08? Yeah. I'm trying to see if there was an actual company name, but I guess that's the company. Uh. <laughs> God. 
like the arms and the hands are out of their sockets and they're they're separate things and like that's they're parting it out like that significantly anyways let's see what the bricks are like Ooh. Ooh, I'm not sure I like that. It's kind of flimsy. A little thin. They go together well? No, the pieces do not go together very well. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's an air gap right there. You can kind of see in there. Uh, pieces... Oh, it doesn't want to come off now. They do not go together very well. Here's the... The, the, the instructions. It kind of looks like a Lego set. Except it's hard to tell. It's not going to show up on camera because my camera only rolls at 720p for space considerations. But I can tell from the naked eye looking at this that this looks pretty grainy. It's not, it's not a very high print quality. So I know that that's how this is not an official Lego thing. Uh, in case you made it this far without realizing it. But... Also, these instructions look like shit. Like genuine shit. Real shit. Okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. Let's, let's build the minifigure first. Let's build the minifigure first, which is uh, these instructions right here. Oh, shit. That was what I was afraid of. The bag exploded. Oh, good. I found his arm. Okay. Whew. Disaster averted. Would have had a one-armed zombie. So. Legs. Man, there's... Oh, these aren't going to go together. There's a lot of sprue on these. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Have you ever, ever, ever in your bow-legged life seen a bow-legged sailor with his bow-legged wife? Oh my god, these pieces aren't going to go together. Hang on. I want to push down on the table. These legs are not going to bend. They are stuck sturdy. Wow. That is a... St okay, I can bend them if I force it. This is astoundingly tight. I just tried to bend his legs and I ripped his legs off. Is his arms going any easier? Oh, fuck off. Come on. Okay, there we go. There's one. Okay. Oh! 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 Wow. Guys. <laughs> Want to talk about build quality? Hey, Fandramon! Look at this! Can you guys see that? From where I put his arms in, it split the plastic down the sides on both sides. It's split. The plastic is cracked. So now, if I put his legs on... The legs, the legs want to fall out. They don't, they don't stay on. Amazing. Incredible. Incredible. I'm going to finish putting him together. 
and we're going to continue on like nothing has happened. He's got a big ass head. And for some reason, they gave him Ninja Turtle size. I don't even think those exist in Minecraft. I thought I thought it was a stick based on the, the cover of the box, but no, it's not what it was. Here's our guy. I would I would prop him down to sit, but if I do that, he's gonna break. So what they've got us doing is they they've got let me move these pieces over here so I don't lose them. We need the white pieces. So we've got this this big gray base plate. And then they want us to get this 2x2 two two and put it right here. This 2x4 and put it right here with the side sticking out. This one with the side sticking out here. Here. And here. They want they want this. They want this beautiful looking number. That. Also, I feel like these white pieces are supposed to be gray. Because that's gonna be one of the blocks that you can break open. It's gonna have ore inside of it. So it it's all it's all completely jacked up. It's all completely jacked up. Uh, and then this white piece goes down like this. Brown piece. These pieces, oh, they don't want to go together. Just fit, you piece of junk. Okay, there. If the piece don't fit, you must acquit. You get to put these little translucent pieces on. I guess this is supposed to represent gold. In my opinion, though, this represents peepee. -pee. Because that's what this set is. It's peepee. -pee. Yeah, look at this. Look. So we're going to put this white piece down on top of the, the yellow piece to layer it. And then they, they've given us two gray flat pieces to put on top of it to, to, to top it so there's no studs that cookie sandwich right there is supposed to be a, a, a minecraft ore block right there this thing the white with the yellow and the gray I, I feel like all of these white pieces are supposed to be the same color gray but they just fucked up on it and they gave us all captain crunch's oops all white So rather than give us one regular thickness 2x6, we're getting three flat ones, and we're combining them, and then putting that on the end. And we're going to do that twice. But first... Goes there, and then we get all these little hinge pieces like this. We got four of these, and these go on. Oh, these oh, these don't want to go on either. You guys can hear me just snapping away. Oh, I've done this wrong. Haha. <laughs> I was about to say they shorted me a piece, but no. I just can't follow the can't follow the directions well. Then this goes Fuck me, right?
Yeah, that tree's gonna hold together. Okay. Uh, this is the completed set. Let me get my little man down. Put him on the set. <laughs> this is impressively crappy. This, this is... <laughs> why is the tree red? Is it bleeding? Is the tree on fire? I think it's supposed to be apple? Maybe? I don't know why the tree is red. I don't know why half the ground is white. It's not a snow biome. I know that much. But guys, look. This is, this is Worldcraft 2.0. Get with it. Okay? Get with it. That's all I gotta say. Get with it. <laughs> uh, this is ugly. Um, I'm looking at the instructions here and looking at the finished the finished build, there are pieces on this page that are white. So I'm thinking the white pieces are intentional. And if that's the case, why? You know it looks like shit, and I know you've got access to the, 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 the gray pigment. So why would you just mold those as blank white pieces and not mix in some of the gray color pellets? Why would you do that? That's stupid. It looks like crap. If you're trying to knock off... They went through this much trouble. Look at the trouble they went through. Okay, now this... I'm calling bullshit here. Look at this. Those are gray pieces. Though maybe these are a little like light gray and not quite white, but these are all gray pieces. They had gray pieces for the for the photo they took for the cover. Packaging photo, gray pieces. Uh I'm calling bullshit. Even the yeah, even on the back. Those pieces are definitely gray. I guess the bigger question is um is this worth nine dollars and uh no it's not worth nine dollars at all it's n not even close to being worth the the one dollar we saw from the dollar tree builds uh last time um this is an impressively bad bootleg lego set impressively bad impressively bad uh, we can't forget the fact that the minifigure's sides split open because I told the world's funniest joke. Actually, they split open because he's molded like absolute dog piss. And, uh, and when I tried to snap his arms in, it just broke on both sides. Independent of one another, on both sides, it just broke. And uh, now his legs won't stay on. I can pull up on him and he comes right off. Just like that. Um... <laughs> That has ruined the resale value of this set. If I ever want to do something with it, uh, so I don't know. What, I don't know what. I guess I'm stuck with this. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I can just super glue them together and just leave them, leave them as one piece like that, and be like, "Here, you guys deal with it." Um. <laughs> pieces are so ugly. Like the white pieces don't blend in. They stand out like a sore thumb. They're ugly looking. They're not. It's not snow. It's supposed to be cobblestone or whatever it is in the game. It's supposed to be regular stone. I don't know why it's white. I don't know why it's white. I also don't know why there's two big red blocks in the tree. If it's supposed to be apples, wouldn't you give me like some little one stud blocks to put in there? To fill in, to kind of dot the tree with? Or some, some little red, you know, like they gave us those four little yellow dots to put in the, the ore down here. Give me the red dots. And put them in the tree. And that way it's an apple tree or a berry tree, whatever the hell. I don't know. I haven't played Minecraft in like a decade. So I'm, they've added a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not familiar with. So I'm, I'm, I'm a Minecraft boomer. Um. <laughs> but no, uh, QS08 Worldcraft 2.0. Um. <laughs> What's that say on the side? Develop children's intelligence. Fostering children's ability. Yeah, if you say so, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, it sucks. I'm glad we finally had a That's Not Lego with some proper bootleg trash. With shoddy piece quality and pieces that don't fit together too well. And, you know, the, 
I keep worrying like, oh, bootleg Lego is so homogenized now that everything's going to kind of be the same. We're not going to get something like this. No, no. Worldcraft 2.0 is proof that shit like this still exists out there and it still sucks. So I'm happy because I like it when it sucks because it's funnier that way. So uh, I'm going to take my broken little bootleg zombie guy and uh, my crappy little uh, pepper tree and... Uh, I'm going to put him back in the box and uh, keep him preserved for the world. So uh, thank you for watching this installment of That's Not Lego. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more Worldcraft 2.0, so you know maybe we'll find a winner in, in a different set. But uh, that's all I got for you this time, so thank you for tuning in. And as always, if you, uh, if you like this, you can support the channel on Patreon and, uh, you know, all that usual good stuff. So I do that too. So it's all in the description of this video. You guys know it. Bye. Thanks for checking out this video by Gatorbox. To see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. You can also support this project financially at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox. You can also follow us at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox to catch us live every Friday night at 9 p.m. Central Time for our main show. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.